to um, not have KG or Rondo and to play so well against a team that's 123 in a row and then losing the end? What kind of feeling are you left with? Well, the, the same feeling I would have if we had KG and Rondo, honestly. I believe we were going to win the game before the game. I thought we were going to win the game during the game. And I thought we should have won the game. Uh, you know, give them credit. They made some spectacular plays. Uh, one of them was absolutely a go ten. Uh, the Jeff drive it definitely hit the, the board first, uh, and that has to be called. But other than that, uh, they made we had I think four counting that one at the basket, and they made plays on all of them. So you got to give them a lot of credit. They made defensive plays, and then they made some big shots. You know, um, I told our guys, you know, that was our first playoff game. Uh, you know, for a lot of the new guys, and I was really looking forward to the game because I didn't know how a lot of guys were going to react. And overall, uh, besides not winning the game, we passed the test. But uh, losing the game is what you'll remember. And, you know, I, I tell them there's uh, playoff games come down to single possessions all through the game. And I just thought overall we made too many mistakes to win the game. Uh, as hard as we played, and we played great. Uh, I just thought we made too many uh, mistakes, defensively switching and things and giving up layups. Um, we had the 10-point lead. I think they scored four times under seven seconds. Uh, you know, not getting matched up. Uh, and, and that was disappointing. And then I thought in the second half, actually I thought it started in the second quarter, I thought we start losing our pace. You know, you, you, we have to run. That's who we are. And when we were doing that, I thought we were terrific. Uh, when we tried to set things up, we were not. But overall, I, I take the game. It was a fantastic game. Uh, I just don't like losing it. When you, take, when you took Jeff out there in the fourth, you were up like 10, it was yeah. 740. Yeah. Did you bring him back uh, when you wanted to, or did you want to get him back in there quicker? No, I brought him back when I wanted to. I mean, uh, he needed a blow. He asked for a blow, and so we gave him one. Yeah, Jeff was terrific. I thought he played well the entire night. He attacked. You know what I loved about Jeff is I thought the first two minutes of the game, three minutes of the game, he was struggling. You know, missed a free throw, missed a couple of shots. And, um, you know, the old Jeff may have gone away. You know, he actually just kept going and kept going. And that's all we talked about. And once he realized that he had an advantage, uh, he took advantage. And, uh, you know, that was great. That's why we, the, the one play we drew up and gave him a quick ISO. He got all the way to the basket. And Betty made a hell of a play. Uh, you gotta give him credit there, but we like where he, he where he was at. Doc, with that being said, though, how do you keep Jeff that way when Kevin comes back, where he doesn't just turn it those two guys? Well, he's been that way, really. You know, uh, he's just there will be nights where he has an advantage, and there will be nights where he will not. Um, we thought going into the game, uh, he would have that advantage, and we took advantage of. It. Doc, that last play with Paul taking the three there, one of the. Was that what the first option there? Or? Whoever was open. You know, uh, Jet set a great uh, pick. I haven't seen it. I think he had a good look at it, uh, especially for Paul. But I, 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 I haven't seen it yet. So, um, and that was tough. On the previous possession, was that he setting up Paul and the Jet? When uh, Brandon selected the layup and took it back? Yeah, it was Paul came off. It was for Jet. Paul, it was for Paul first. Uh, I thought Brandon made a terrific read. I mean, he, I, I want my guys to be aggressive. You know, he grabbed it. He could have gone to a dribble handoff. Uh, but honestly, I don't know if you're going to get much better shot than your, your big at the rim, you know, at the basket. You know, uh, I'll take all those shots. I think Courtney had one right at the, at the rim, too. So we missed some layups down the stretch. But uh, I was still more, uh, I was happy with our offense overall. The turnovers killed us. You know, I think they had 24 points. It's almost a quarter of their points. Uh, I just didn't like the defensive mistakes that could have been prevented uh, that we made. And I think I'm hoping that's a great lesson for a lot of our guys. Doc, they got 50 in the paint, especially yeah. that second quarter. It seemed like they just continued to get yeah. inside. Is that a function of not having Kevin on the floor? No, that's a, a lot guards? of them, again, uh, they're pretty good, number mm -hmm. one. So that was some of it. Uh, LeBron killed us in the paint. Um, but... You know, so some of that, yeah, maybe not having Kevin. Some of it, we, we made some bad mistakes, uh, and we know it. You know, and we know what they are, and uh, the good news is a lot of them, are, you don't have to fix them. We should have done them, Doc, that's good news. It seemed like for the first three quarters you were the better team in transition. Yeah. How much of that was by design? How much of it was just well, the way you took, took it to them? It's what we thought. I told you before the game, we're going to run. We have to run. Um, we just don't have the ball handling to play half court anymore. 
And, and I tell our guys that every night. Uh, we, we, we're just not that team anymore. We can't be. You know, with Rondo, you can do that. Without Rondo, you have to stay aggressive, keep the floor open, uh, and try to attack early. Uh, the later the clock gets, the harder it gets for us. What was the atmosphere in the locker room after this one? Pretty solemn, you know, down, like, you know, typical when you lose a game. And, uh, you know, games with meaning in a regular season, which is really nice to have. Wish we could have a lot of them. Um, but, you know, it'll be, it'll be fine. They kept uh, 